And welcome to this edition of USFDons.com. Three questions. We are here with USF men's soccer head coach Eric Visser, who led his young Dons to an undefeated weekend, highlighted by a big victory against number nine Northwestern in the 2010 regular season opener. And coach, anytime you have so many new faces in the lineup, there can really be a lot of uncertainty, especially in the early going. What did the opening weekend tell you about your team? Well, as you said, you know, it's a, it's a complete different team with up to 20 newcomers. So the first weekend, what we really were looking for is the things that we've emphasized in training for two weeks to create good spirit, good intensity, uh, the ability to defend for 90 minutes. I was very encouraged against Northwestern that uh, the team responded well to that. I thought that the team played with a great amount of enthusiasm, a lot of spirit. I said we, we defended well for 90 minutes, we created some good chances. So I thought for a first game, you know, especially against a quality of, Northwestern, I thought it was very encouraging. After such an emotional win against Northwestern on Friday, what did getting the result against Cal State Fullerton mean to you? I think it meant a lot because I think, uh, especially with a younger team, I think a uh, emotional and physical letdown 48 hours after a great victory against Northwestern, playing in Moraga at 3.30 in the afternoon, uh, Sunday afternoon, which is warm, uh, there's really not that much atmosphere, there's not, there's not many spectators. I think it's very difficult for a team to get you know, emotionally really charged for a game like that. And I think we held ourselves well until you know, unfortunately we had a red card and we had to play one man down. Cal State Fullerton was clearly the better team after that, but I think the team showed a lot of heart to get away with a tie. And I, I really would like to... Uh, also single out Brennan Rosland, who especially in overtime made two or three critical saves for us. So, you know, not losing that game and playing at least 40 minutes, 10 against 11, I, again, I think that was an encouraging sign. For the first time in recent memory, the Dons play their second top 25 opponent in three matches when Cal State Bakersfield comes to the hilltop. What adjustments are necessary for success against the Roadrunners? Well, I think, again, it's... Uh, it's great for, for the Bakersfield program to be recognized. You know, they are a relatively young, new program. I think many of us know that uh, there's a lot of talent, though, in Bakersfield, and they attract a lot of good players from the Southern California era. And I think uh, it, it makes it a little simpler for us to motivate our team, you know, because obviously playing a nationally ranked team helps to, to get your team ready for that. I think we need to be able to deal with uh, their, uh, their, their speed, they have a very good counter-attack, we need to be able to neutralize that and again be very patient and, and, and play for 90 minutes. We're, we're going to try to integrate a couple of more players in the squad because I feel very strong if we want to have a successful WCC campaign, we need to have up to eight, from say 18 to 20 good Division One players, so that's one of the challenges that we have. While getting some results, we try to build some depth, you know, for for conference, which is going to start in the next couple of weeks. USF men's soccer takes on the Roadrunners of Cal State Bakersfield Saturday, September 11th at Mega West Coast Stadium, starting at 2 o'clock p.m. If you can't make it to the field in person, live video streaming will be available on usfdons.com, courtesy of Yahoo Broadcast. Thanks, Coach, and good luck. You're welcome.